Oh gosh. <laughs> Everyone already knows how this is going to be. I can already feel the diabetes coming. <laughs> oh no. Well, uh... Everyone strap yourselves in, because on this episode of I Can't Believe My Iron Blood Could Possibly Be This Cute. <laughs> Why are you so happy? <laughs> also, can I just quickly point out? I didn't actually notice this detail until I actually, like, looked at it. She's got hard eyes. I actually really did not see that tiny little detail. My goodness. Anyway, it's been a very long time since I've gotten the videos out. I feel bad about that. I know there's some stuff I could talk about it about for work, but it's pretty much what it is. I just had some rough times at work. Had to get that over with, so that's all I was going to say on that. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. Prepare your, I don't know, insulin? Whatever you do to handle a sugar overdose, because more than likely we're about to experience every bit of that right now. So, strap yourselves in, guys and girls. We're in for a big one. All love assault. Oh god, I can already hear it. <laughs> a pink letter. Oh. A love letter. Probably. It's a clear sunny day at the port. <laughs> Good morning. I'm not gonna try to do this every single time. If I do, I'm probably going to hate myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good morning, Commander. It's a beautiful day, so let's go on a date after work. She's already hitting us straight to the point. Where should we go? The amusement park? The aquarium? A restaurant? The movie theater? Or maybe just a walk around the port? Hmm. I still need to get through these documents. There's the Commander! <laughs> that face. Don't ignore me like that. I'm not ignoring you. I just have to do work. You can be adorable, but I still have to get work done. <laughs> <laughs> this needy girl, Bleacher, is my secretary. She should be assisting me with my work around the office, but instead she's badgering me about date plans. Mander, look at me. You can't afford to put down your uh, to put your paperwork on hold for one second. Shoot her a quick glance. Taking her words at face value, I look at her for exactly one second, then resume my work. All right, I'm being a little too harsh here. Wow, you meanie, I need more attention than that. How does the head pat work? Does this work? How, you want another one? You want three, four, five? How many do you- Duh. <sighs> anyway. Well, okay, I guess in this situation it's a little bit weird because I am oath to this character, so... I mean... I, I think she would under- Well, would she- I don't know. <laughs> would she understand? Eh. I'm sorry, but I have a job to do. It's not like you have that much work. I'm here to help, remember? Let's get out of this place and go on a date. Come on. Suddenly, I point to the stack of documents on my desk. Fine. Simply being with you all the time is enough to make me the happiest girl alive anyway. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just know that there are no breaks on the Blucher chain. <laughs> um. Uh. I think you meant the other break. Oops. <laughs> it's on a one-way trip to our dream romance. Noted. Now, could you go through the documents regarding the upcoming exercise? Not until you answer my question. You didn't say where we were going for our date after this shift. Tell you what, I'll do some work in exchange for your loving embrace. I need hugs from you to get the energy to do anything. I don't know why, I just imagine, like, every single time you walk into the office, this car- this... Blucher ambushes you for a hug, and then is able to get a whole bunch of work done. <laughs> I'm thinking that one- uh, what is that one stupid meme that I see all the time where it's like... Uh... something sit on- sit on face or something and the guy just explodes. I'm just imagining the inverse of this, where it's like Bluetooth's in the middle of fighting a bunch of sirens, and you just w you just yell out to her, "If you defeat all the sirens, I'll let you hug me for the next week." And she just explodes. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
I'd be a little bit worried about a specific handful of ships that might not be too appreciative of that. <laughs> Doesn't having me around make you happy? Hey, Commander, hey! I'll take care of her later. For now, I just have to focus on my pit. What does this mean? <laughs> That's a little concerning. Commander, give me a hug! While I wasn't looking, Blucher had fallen asleep on the desk next to mine. Oh, she's sleep talking. At, at least I managed to finish a good chunk of work without her. Come to think of it, why did I appoint her as my secretary? Because she's adorable? And she'll probably give me diabetes? <laughs> On second glance, I notice her hand is resting on a pink letter. It looks to be a love letter, addressed to me. But... Okay. I thought this was- I thought the chapter was gonna go more into the pink letter than it really did. It just had- at the very- I don't- whatever. That's a two. Rain or shine. It's a dark, rainy day at the port. Aw, oh, this sucks. I wanted to go on a date with the commander today. Oh, speak of the devil. Hey, commander. Is this a coincidence, or were you coming to see me? Hmm? As I turn the corner leading to my office, I bump into Blucher. She's been waiting for here for me. Let me guess. You want me to take you on that date you decided on? Yep. You promised we would. You ready to head out? I thought we'd go in the evening. Yeah, but you're here because you wanted to go now, right? Don't tell me you were going to sit down and start working. That's not going to happen. Oh, it's pouring outside. So what? I don't care. As long as I'm with you, the forecast is all sunshine and clear skies in my heart. I can't. <laughs> Help. Let's go. This rainy day is about to get a whole lot brighter. She is so happy. <laughs> Look at his face. She's so happy. She and I go on a stroll after, around the port in the rain. <laughs> oh, we have an umbrella. <laughs> then we pass by the Iron Blood dormitory and come across a friendly face. Hmm. Morning, Oigan. What you doing? Going for a walk? Well, if it isn't the commander and my favorite loudmouth. <laughs> That's the way to talk to your sister. Yes, yes, I'm very sorry. Anyway, what are you two up to? Are you on, are you on, dare I ask, a date? Oh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> do we deny it or do we say it? I mean, it really doesn't matter to me. Both of the characters in this cutscene right now are currently Oath of Mine. So, yeah, there's that. I'm walking around the port. <laughs> Don't miss your words, Commander. We are on a date. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Let me make this clear. We're not just walking around the port. We're on a romantic stroll. Uh-huh, I see. Currently think- This is very similar vibes to Think Pits. <laughs> Yeah, you could say that. Oh my. You sure... You two sure got friendly while I wasn't looking. A little warning, Commander. She is extremely passionate when it comes to dates. Try to keep your wits about you, alright? <laughs> Love is meant to be expressed loud and clear, you know. <laughs> yeah, Oigen! <laughs> Don't you give me that <laughs> gaslighting crush line of yours. <laughs> I know she, I know it's her being her, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> Warmer than the sun. Yeah, I guess that probably be a pretty accurate description of Blucher sometimes. See, it's really funny because like some of these like. Some of these stories actually get me to oath a character, whereas others, like this one per se, I already have oath a character, so it gives a very different feel 
from probably what it's supposed to, which is really funny. But hey. <laughs> then there's of course other ones where characters that are in the, in the topic of discussion are characters I have of, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> anyway, it's sunny outside. Perfect weather for a date, right? For once, I have two days off in a row, and Bleacher has taken me to the commercial district first thing in the morning. Are you sure you don't want to spend the day relaxing indoors instead? Thanks, but no thanks. To me, there's no better way to relax than simply being with you. Hick! <laughs> okay. Okay, comment section. I need you guys to tell me how many times you died in this story. <laughs> Keep an internal counter. <laughs> All right then, I'll stick around as long as you want me to. Probably just made her month with that comment. Great, then follow me. There's a ton of places I want to go that we couldn't when it rained. Oh, here. I just realized that's right there. <laughs> How did I not see this before? Like, for the most part, this just looks like a little cat cafe. And then there's this. <laughs> Our first destination, a baba. B ba baba? B is this supposed to be like boba, maybe? Cafe? I have not have never had boba tea or anything like that. Huh. Now that I think about it, I probably should give that a try one of these days, but I don't know where, where one is nearby. Hmm. I guess I'll have to figure that out somewhere. Hey, let me taste yours. Sip. It's kind of bland. Are you not a fan of sweet stuff, Commander? Not really, no. That's actually pretty accurate. You don't know what you're missing out on. Try some of my ice. I, look, I already get enough sugar from you, Bluecher. I'd rather not get it. <laughs> I'd rather not overdose on that. <laughs> she shoves her bubble tea in my face. Since she insists, I take a sip. It tastes extremely sweet, almost like liquid sugar. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we just shared an indirect kiss. Oh. And she's... God, she's so happy! <laughs> Comments help! Guys, help! <laughs> Love a tea is at its best when it's super sweet, just like our love. <laughs> Next up, the amusement park. Oh, well, that ride looks fun. Let's go on that, Commander. The roller coaster? I thought you'd want to go on the merry-go-round first. Knowing how much you love chit-chatting. Honestly, I'd probably say she'd be the type of person that would probably want to do the swan rides. Those, like, swan boat rides? Those are a thing still, right? I've never actually seen one in my life, but I've seen them in multiple times in movies and other things, like... <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that one, actually. <laughs> Of course we'll ride that too, but we're doing the roller coaster first. When we go downhill, you'll feel afraid and hug me, turning your feelings of fear into feelings of love for me. That's how it works. I actually like roller coasters, so are you sure this isn't you? Not that I mind or anything, you are oaths to me, so there is that, but um <laughs> I actually like roller coasters. I actually do a lot of the crazy ones too, so I actually have no problem with roller coasters. It sounds like she's describing the psychological phenomenon known as misattribution of arousal. That's a thing? I guess it is. Huh. Considering I've weathered storms aboard command ships before, I doubt a roller coaster could phase me. Good point. Come on, don't just stand there. The roller coaster is arriving at the station. After this, we'll totally try out the haunted house. Oh, I know what's gonna happen there. And finally, the movie theater. Stop. The final scene with the proposal was so good it made me cry. Oh, we saw a romantic, probably a romantic comedy or something. Oh, no, this just sounds like the Titanic. <laughs> Wait, the shipwreck has a start. was the start of it all. I don't remember the Titanic, isn't that how it's... No. I was like halfway through. I don't remember, it's been so long. 
What was a phenomenal movie? It was odd how a shipwreck was the start of it all. That's why I picked it. The only time you're in danger is at sea. I guess in their situation that makes a lot of sense. If you ever got shipwrecked, it, I'll, I'd sail across the seas to rescue you. Oh, it'd be just like the end of the movie. She gently grasps my hand with hers. Hand holding? Oh, hand holding. Grasps her back, gives her a tender hug. Do we go the no more simple one, or do we full send and probably cause her to just freak out? But of course, in a very happy way. Uh, I feel like I'm going to explode with love. I just got, I just gotta hug you back. Grasp her back. Your hand is so warm. A movie may come to an end, but my love for you is endless. I want to be with you forever and ever, Commander. I hope we'll always be together, whatever happens. To go beyond the port. It's a regular, uneventful day. Today, it's back to work. I'm chewing through paperwork when suddenly Bluecher speaks up. Hmm. Where should we go on a t on a date after work today? Maybe the sh uh... <laughs> Charlock Rotter Treason? Treason? I'm gonna stop before people scream at me again. No, <laughs> we've been there so many times, you're probably bored with it. What about the aquarium? It's comfy and tranquil. But we won't have much time there before they close. Thoughts, Commander? Where do you want to go? I'm working overtime today. Oh no. Hmm. We'll see. I'll go to Tresson. <laughs> that's then that's where we'll go. Megan recommends the coffee soda with extra sugar. We should give it a try. I bet it tastes as sweet as my love does. Oh boy, I can't wait for the shift to end. She's so happy. <laughs> She is just so happy! The Aquarium. The aquarium it is. Mind if I go grab my camera before we head out? I want to take pics of the fish, and more importantly of you, my sweetheart. Uh, comments, I can't... I can't handle her sometimes. Oh no. You decide. The place doesn't matter as long as I'm there, am I right? I couldn't agree more. Wherever I am, I'm happy if you're by my side. I love you so much, Commander. I'll let my gut decide where we'll go. I'm working overtime today. No, you are not working overtime! Full stop! <laughs> oh, she actually... She's at- look at this face. <laughs> you know you've made a mistake. <laughs> if you're gonna be that way, I'll just decide on my own. I- I feel like that was the bad ending. <laughs> oh, he was right about Blucher. She is mind-bogglingly passionate when it comes to dates. This is a character that genuinely loves you. Like, this is probably... Mm. Is this the first character of this, like, personality type that, like, is actually this... I mean, okay. Not, like, tie hole level obsessed. Well, I mean, they're both kind of needy. Maybe tie hole... It really shows how there is such a very, very, very <laughs> thin line <laughs> between Bluecheard and Tile. <laughs> there is a very thin line between the two of them, I feel. <laughs> of course, that's just how she expresses her honest, albeit overbearing, affection. 
Having known her for a while now, I've more or less gotten used to it. There we go, all done. I've even made plans for a date several days from now. Oh, by the way, I want to travel somewhere with you on your next holiday. Like to a ski resort or something. Oh, are you going to use the ski resort skin? That would make sense. You want to go skiing? Yeah, I know a great resort. It just takes some time to get there. We've been all around the port already, and I want to see the world with you. Oh. <laughs> with that, and I want to say, I and I want to say in here, I love you in novel romantic places. Of course you do. <laughs> Romance moments. <laughs> oh man. Are we actually using the- We're in the Northern Parliament? We went that far? My goodness. Oh, also, is it gonna be the- the- the snowboarding skin or what? I think it's a snowboard. Yep. Is it snowboard? I actually- Foot's up. I don't see a ski there. Anyway. <laughs> Look at me, Commander. This place is awesome. Look at this smile. She's still smiling. Just like Aurora said. Blucher and I are at the Mountain Ski Resort in the Northern Parliament, open only to ship girls. Well, that's nice. As a pleasantly cold breeze brushes against my cheek, I think to myself what a perfect vacation destination this is, particularly for skiing enthusiasts. This is the best date ever. I love you, Commander. What? There's no echo. It's Isn't it supposed to echo when you shout on a mountain? I think it's a mountain range, not a lone mountain. Maybe all the snow is dampening the noise. Also a good point. Makes sense, actually. You're so smart. Blucher, donning her winter gear, zips right past me on her snowboard. A cloud of snow trailing behind her. <laughs> Think you can catch up with me, Commander? You don't want a snowboard? Then how about you catch me in your arms, hmm? She makes a U-turn and uses her speed to reach a slope just above me. I know where this is going. Commander, turn around and give me a big hug. Oh, we're we about to get clawed. <laughs> we're about to get just like completely obliterated. She jumps off the slope, arms extended right towards me. Okay. This is the one time. Actually, no, no, this isn't even the one time. This is the, this is the, I have to say this, every single character memory, a CG right here would be hilarious and also adorable at the same time. Because I kind of want to see that. <laughs> catch her with grace and catch her while trying not to panic. Well, we already kind of knew where it was going, so we'll catch her with grace. Predicting where she's going to land, I run over and extend my arms. She soars through the air, squarely into my arms, and I manage to catch her. <laughs> 10 out of 10 catch, Commander. That was a heart-thumping moment in more ways than one. Catch her while trying not to panic. <laughs> Fearing for her well-being, I bumble my way forward and try to catch her. However, I act without thinking and lose my balance. I fall on my face in the snow, and so does she. Luckily, <laughs> neither of us is her- uh, are her. Thanks to the deep snow. Eat that's cold. I got snow under my clothes. That's not really saying much, considering your current outfit, Blucher. <laughs> you know what would warm me up? A nice loving- She doesn't even get mad. She just want- I can't. Chat. <laughs> I called you guys chat. No! <laughs> Help! I can't handle that line and this face at the same time. <laughs> I can't call it a day until we've snowboarded at least once together. Come on, let's go. The passion she radiates could melt all the snow in the world. Yes, it could. As bright as the stars. The moon hangs high in the clear night sky. Kind of rhymed there. Blucher decided we're having a day tonight. I arrive at the spot she told me to meet her. Evening, Commander. Sorry for hitting you up this late in the night. I just wanted to see you so, so badly that I couldn't sleep. 
It's fine. I don't have anything important to do anyway. Great. Now let's check out the stalls by the Sakura Empire's dorm. They're still open, last I checked, so we should be able to nab some yummy food. We go from stall to stall, amassing a smorgasbord of Sakura Empire street food under the starry sky. Takoyaki, tempura, and taiyaki, oh my. And of course, Odin. Mmm, this is so good. Delicious food and dates go together like bread and butter. Here, have this takoyaki, Commander. It's my gift to you for going out with me tonight. We chow down while we walk, eventually ending up just outside the Iron Blood Dormitory. It's then that I realized that this nighttime date took away all the fatigue I had accumulated during my shift today. Thanks a lot for hanging out with me. Jeez, it's late. Time to say goodnight, but first... She extends her arms and looks at me eagerly. I want to wrap up the date on a sweet note, you know? Gently flick her forehead! What? Why would we do that? <laughs> That's just mean! What are we, Eugen? <laughs> Actually, I don't... I think that'd be more of a hipper thing than an Eugen thing. <laughs> Alright, come on. Thanks for fully recharging my batteries. You're so sweet, Commander. I love you. <laughs> Guys, help. Gently flick her forehead. Ow, that hurt! You can be a re you can be a real meanie sometimes, but that's okay because I love you and it still energizes, and still energized me a little bit. Anyway, it's bedtime. Thanks for going on a last minute date with me today. I'll see you tomorrow, Commander. <sighs> this is kind of why I like Blucher, to be honest. <laughs> Another day, another date. Port office. Good morning, Commander. Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be normal. Good morning. Uh good day. What? It's not even close to afternoon yet. Besides, it's always morning until you've had breakfast. Good evening. Evening. Uh-oh. I think something's wrong with you. I better call Vestal right away. I was just joking to see how you'd react. Please put the phone down. <laughs> Alrighty then. In that case, good evening to you too. Hey, did you dream of me last night? That look on your face says you did. On that note, I have a small present for you. A present? What's the occasion? It's, uh, you know, to celebrate our 100-day wedding anniversary. Excuse me, what? You know, it'd actually be really funny if I actually owed her 100 days ago. I actually should go check that. How nice. That and to commemorate all the sweet and love-packed memories we've made. I'm not expecting anything, but I'm sure it would- I, I'm, I sure would love something in return. Like a warm hug coupled with a loving kiss, for instance. <laughs> She's either thinking out loud or hinting at what she's going to do next. <laughs> you know, the latter seems very likely. <laughs> Commander, eyes on me. And don't think about shutting them. I want your full undivided attention. I turn to face her and realize she's standing right next to me. Her puckered lips graze my cheek. Smooch. Yeah, see? <laughs> The warmth of a gentle kiss spreads through me. Gotcha. I'll make do with that for now. Anyway, it's time we get to work. Hmm? What's up, Commander? Waiting for something. You left me a bit stunned by changing gears just like that. Well, what are you gonna do if not work? Unless you want to go on a date. I'm feeling a little lightheaded. I can't exactly focus right now. Oh no, you sound sick. We can't leave <laughs> you work like this. Okay, forget about work. How about I take you to the infirmary? It doesn't seem like we have any other option. We're going on an infirmary date that... Okay. <laughs> Come on, let's go.
<sighs> I, will, I gotta say that it, it kind of ended abruptly. I kind of expected a bit more to that than just the last scene, but I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> I feel like half my commentary is either aw or I guys I can't. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I actually I know there are characters that kind of really like you to this degree, but I think Bluecher really blows that out of the water. I'm not entirely sure where it comes from, to be honest, but it's not like I completely mind. I mean, she's she's pretty serious and very, well, I mean, can be a little cheesy, slash. <laughs> it probably is cheesy for a lot of people. <laughs> yeah. I kind of like Blisher just because, of, like, she's a character that actually genuinely, like, likes you from the beginning. Not, like, a character that necessarily has to, uh, gain affection with you. Granted, I don't mind the, the other way, which is probably the more normal one. <laughs> not not trying to be mean to her here at all, but... Yeah, I don't know. I also really, really, really wanted to see a CG or some kind of a custom artwork where, like, there's the whole... her jumping off of the ramp in order for you to catch her. I kind of want to see that, to be honest. <laughs> I feel like it's a missed opportunity to be to be real with everyone here. I really would like to see that. I know there's not much that can be done about it sometimes, but still, I think it, it would really, it would make all of these way more worth it because if there's a character that one one person really likes and they really want to go through their memory, having that one CG art uh, for that character, kind of in a way like how Blue Archive does it actually, I think that actually makes the character story all the better. It doesn't, it, you know, at first glance, it wouldn't really add anything, but it does give way more of a uh, impact for the character stories themselves. I, I realize this now, because man, it was, I really, I really would have liked to see a CG of that. <laughs> so, nonetheless, that was Blue Cheer, the adorable cinnamon roll that probably gave everyone a sugar overdose and or diabetes. <laughs> oh gosh. I hope you guys did enjoy this, and like I said, if you guys do want to see a specific character, I didn't really see any um, major ones that stood out last time, so I might just pick one randomly next and among uh, the comment section here and work on it. So it might be easier to do the ones that I have or are capable of really doing because let's say the character's lot or uh, you know character's point limit broken and leveled and everything, and I might just be able to breeze through it. Because sometimes I honestly have the problem of doing the dailies and then completely forgetting that that's one of the steps in the actual character story, so the story gets delayed a day. Because I was an idiot. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, I will try to just randomly pick one from the comments this time. I think that probably might be the easier way to do it. And then from from there forward, we'll just keep doing that. Um, as I've always said, the character stories are kind of the character stories. The character like videos that I do are kind of a little bit on delay because I'm trying to get lore stuff or make lore stuff the more bigger focus here. So that's really what things are going to be. But nonetheless, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I will see you guys all again in the near future. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all again real soon. Later's.